Hi guys, welcome back to a Golden Reviewer. So here I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and iPhone IC 2012, 2022, okay? And today we are going to compare the low light video cap capability of these two devices. We are going to test at 4K 30 FPS, okay? And uh, I think many of you who are actually uh, who are actually waiting to buy the iPhone SE will be pretty curious about uh, how it compares against the best iPhone, which is uh, 13 Pro Max. Okay, so today we'll go we are going to find out. Okay, so now we are recording from the front-facing camera, and you can do 4K 30 on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but on the iPhone SE, you can only do Full HD 30 FPS. Uh, so image quality-wise, I think both are doing okay. Uh, it seems that the 13 Pro Max is a little bit sharper. Yeah, but this place is not super dark. Let's move to a darker place to test the limits. Okay. Now it's really dark. And uh, to be honest, they look pretty similar. Like, I don't think the Pro Max is any is significantly better than the SE, right? They are both very dark. Um, yeah, but it does seem that uh, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is a little bit cleaner. We have le less noise, right? Uh, the SE is a little, a little bit noisy, okay? So that's about the front-facing camera. And uh, yeah, now let's switch back to the mainless okay so now we are recording 4k 30 fps from the mainless of the iphone 13 pro max and iphone ic okay actually the image quality does look pretty similar to me um maybe it's because i'm currently just looking at the viewfinder which is a pretty small screen so maybe later on if i use my desktop to check the videos I might see a difference so if you see a difference please let me know right um, now I'm going to a darker place to see how they handle low light right extreme low light uh, actually this is a pretty contrasty scene what do you think I think both of them offer pretty amazing dynamic range and the now it's pretty dark um, I feel the yeah it may it may be just the display because the iPhone 13 Pro Max has an AMOLED display so currently I'm looking at a much deeper blacks here but I guess it's just because of the display right the SE has an IPS display so I from what I see from the viewfinder the darks the blacks are not so deep but that's fine and uh, let me run a little bit so that you can have a feeling about the stabilization. Okay, so while running, I couldn't really pay attention to the, to the footage. So you can tell me which one you feel is better. But then of course, on iPhone 13 Pro Max, you have the option to switch to your other lenses but on the ice iphone ic you don't have such option you can only digital zoom but to be honest i don't see much of a difference here i suspect the iphone 13 pro max is still using the main lens and digital zoom you know the the zoom lens is actually pretty difficult to activate on the iphone 13 pro max okay but uh, what if we zoom a little bit further yeah, you can do that, but on the iPhone SE, that's the maximum you can do. And we also have ultra wide on iPhone 13 Pro Max, which I feel the quality is a little bit unusable. But I mean, it's always better to have a, an extra option, right? So on the iPhone SE, you can't zoom out. That's the widest you can go. Okay, now back to mainless. Right, that's a quick comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the iPhone SE 2022. 4K 30 FPS, low light video recording. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.